<clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to show how to open up to replace the hard drive or upgrade to an SSD and also upgrade the RAM on this HP NV23 Touch Smart all-in-one PC. Okay, so um, I know some of you guys are probably going to complain. I have all this junk all over my desk, but that's not the point. We're just going to take this thing apart. Okay, so first thing you want is a thin, flat tool. You don't have to use a spatula like this. If you use a knife, be careful because some knives, they're not very flexible and it can actually snap the knife. So you'll want something like thin and flat. You can maybe even use like a credit card or something. I don't know if I have a junk one just to show that. I kind of want to use something that would make it that anyone can kind of follow along. Okay, I guess we got this. So you can insert the tool in there, okay? And then you can use that. No, you might break your credit card. You don't want to do that. <laughs> if you have junk credit cards, you can do it. Um, but yeah, maybe I would recommend a butter knife if you have one. So, or maybe a flathead screwdriver. But what you do is you get in this gap here and you pry this up. Once you get it up enough, you can actually use your fingers or fingernails to reach underneath, okay? And then just grab it and pull it. So the clips actually clip out to the sides like this. So if you pull the middle up and flex down the sides, that will help you release the clips, okay? Just like that. And then just, if it's getting stuck there, just try and pull it over to the other side, okay? And there we go. Okay, there is one clip that's down here that's a lot harder to get out. But yeah, these two clips, um, these four clips, you kind of have to like pull it towards the center to release them. Okay, this clip, it clips, um, I think it clips up that way. So you kind of want to, let me see if I was right, um, lift these sides up over. Yeah, I think it was that way. I can't remember. But oh, there we go. So you pull it like that. Oh, that clip actually broke off. Um, so I don't know where that clip went. It's not really that important, but you want to try and avoid breaking that clip. But yeah, these four clips will be really strong to hold it in place. You wouldn't even notice it was broken, but just so you know, if you can, try and avoid doing that. I've actually opened this twice, and then this time I screwed up, I guess. But um, yeah, so you got the USB thing here. This is for the wireless keyboard and mouse. To remove that, you just get, you can use a flathead screwdriver if you can't do this with your fingers, but you just use this little um, uh, notch there and you just pull it down like that. Okay. After you do that, you want to get like a bigger um, screwdriver, this cross type. Don't try and use the small types that you use for laptops. Um, I don't know what the size is. This, oh, PH2. So you can use like a PH2, maybe even a PH3. And remove this screw in the middle here. It actually doesn't come out. You just twist it until it, you hear it click like that. Okay. When it clicks, you know it's all the way out. There's another screw in this bottom corner down here. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Okay. Yeah, you can. Okay. So take that screw out. Okay. Same thing. You'll hear it click. And then remove the screw in this corner over here. Okay. Most of this stuff to remove it, it's kind of like all clips and you have to use brute force. Um, when you take these screws out, it actually, because they use a rivet to keep the screw in place uh, or a washer, then you get a little gap underneath this screw with the frame. So you use that gap and you pull on it, okay? Same thing with the other side. You just pull on it, okay? Don't be too scared, like Hersha Patel said. Uh, don't be afraid. <laughs> It's just egg fried rice. Well, I don't know. It's not egg fried rice, but there you go. Just pop it up like that. It'll come up at an angle like this. You can kind of wiggle it and you can take it out. Okay. So there you go. You got the whole back cover off and everything is intact minus that broken little clip that I screwed up on. Let's see. All right. So we got that. So next, I think I was pulling it the wrong way. I think you were supposed to actually pull it down. Wait, I think you were supposed to pull it board I don't know whichever way I did it do it the opposite and maybe that will that will be right because I forgot which way it was when I took it out the first two times all right so then to get the hard drive out you got one screw here same thing you use the ph2 screwdriver and just undo that screw okay I might have opened one of these before I don't remember so this thing has like a spring in it so the screw actually will stay there in place. So don't completely remove it. Just unscrew it until it stops coming out. 
Then you got this metal bracket, you can flip it up. This is just to use as a pull handle to take the hard drive out. So you can, oh, why is it bending that? This stuff is so bendable, what is going on? You're supposed to be able to slide this. I don't know why it doesn't want to move. Let's see here. Lock, unlock. There's no lock here. It doesn't want to come out. It should slide over, but it's stuck for some reason. Maybe the screw's not all the way out properly. Okay. So you should be able to slide this. Oh, there we go. Okay. I don't know why it was so hard. Normally you would use this handle, but it was easier to pull with this. Okay. So they actually put a regular hard drive in here. I'm surprised. I thought it was a um, three and a half inch hard drive, but this is just a two and a half inch SATA drive. So... I guess I don't need the adapter. I was going to buy, an, uh, or I was, usually what I do is I would use some kind of um, double stick adhesive to stick the SSD up in there, but it looks like they put an adapter in here for you. So let's see how is this held in place. Hmm. How did they mount this? I don't see screws holding that drive in. Oh, okay, I see it. So they did use a metal bracket to hold this. Okay, so I'll do this after. Here's the RAM to remove this. You just grab it and pull it off, okay? It comes out pretty easily. And then you got the RAM here. So I'm gonna check what type of RAM. There's also the CMOS battery here. Um, okay, this one just has a little thing that you move over to the side and then you can take the battery out. I'm gonna leave it in there. And then you got these jumpers. I don't wanna mess with that, but they didn't label it. Sometimes this is probably like a BIOS password reset and a CMOS reset, but um, if you don't know, don't mess with it. You might have to look online. Anyways, you got this. Pull those two pins out. So the RAM that they're using is 4 gigs PC3 12800S. So you can upgrade to whatever size you can find, but make sure it's PC3 12800S. Okay, let's see what this stick is. This one they put two gigs. So actually they're only using uh, six gigs of RAM. I don't know why they did that. It's not that much more expensive to get another two gigs of RAM. Usually you want matching sized um, sticks as well. But uh, yeah, if you can't, if you just want more RAM, then you can get more RAM and not have it matching. But you'll get a little bit of a performance difference. So it's actually better to get matching, okay? So there we go. Now we're going to take out the hard drive. So I'm assuming we got to take out these four screws. Hopefully this video helps other people not um, break the plastic bits on theirs. <laughs> All right. So we got that out. We're going to get this one out. But again, the main ones that hold it in place are the side clips. So... Hopefully you don't break those side clips or you're going to have to put like tape to hold it in place so it doesn't move around. All right, once you get those four screws out, this metal caddy actually drops down and then you can slide it out just like this. And then now you can actually reach the smaller screws in here. You'll have to switch to a PH1 screwdriver. So let me get the PH1 screwdriver. All right, and then take those out. So these are the four screws holding the hard drive in place. It's kind of nice that they included this adapter. I don't know why they didn't put a desktop hard drive though. Uh, maybe they were intending that people will put SSDs in here, which is kind of nice. But these smaller drives are slower, so it's kind of, if you use it as is, you kind of take a performance hit. It's kind of not, not so nice, but uh, yeah, okay. All right, so we'll take out all four screws. Yeah, so I'm not gonna take out the other stuff. If you want, you can actually take out the CD drive as well, and you can replace it with the hard, with a hard drive adapter. If you don't use the CD drive, you can get a second hard drive. But um, I mean, you might as well use an external drive at this point, since this is a desktop all-in-one, it doesn't move anywhere. Anyways, to remove the hard drive, you just slide it down like that. Okay, grab the SSD. Plop it in, slide that one up that way, get the screws and put them back.
All right, just like that. Same way you took them out. Everything now we just do in reverse. There's no special tricks or anything like that. I've had people ask me, how do you put stuff back? You just do everything in reverse. There's no, there's nothing special. Usually if there's a special trick to putting stuff back, I'll kind of show it. Um, on this one, the cover, I guess I'll show um, because you do have to swing it back a certain way. You can't just drop it on top, but it's still, it's basically the reverse of how we lifted the bottom up first. So yeah, all right. Okay, and also if you're upgrading your hard drive instead of doing a clean Windows install, um, you do want to clone your hard drive first to the SSD. I do have a video of that where you can clone the hard drive while you're actually running Windows, and that will actually help you to set up your hard drive so that you can have it ready before you go to swap it out. Because if you don't do that, your computer is just going to basically complain and say no operating system found. Okay. So if you want to do a clean install, let me know. I have a video for that. If you can't find it, I'll help you out. If you want to clone it, let me know. I will have a, I have a video for that as well, and I'll send that if you guys need it. All right. So putting back these four screws. Oops. Yeah, adding like recording adds, as you can see, it adds unnecessary risk. <laughs> so, if that customer wants me to replace that plastic piece, I can, but I don't think it would make sense. All right, Get that last screw that I dropped. Okay. Here we go. So now we put the hard drive back. You do have to start it from this side and then slide it over because there are these metal clips that latch in under here. Okay. So start like that. Make sure it's in the right spot. You can just try and wiggle it around, then you know it's right, and then just push it over just like that. Make sure that metal latches back down and then tighten the screw. I always like to twist the screw backwards first just to make sure it's not stripping the thing. And then twist it back in. Okay, so there we go. We got all of that in place. The old hard drive set it aside. Then don't forget to plug this USB thingy back in, but you plug that in after you put this cover back on. So this cover, again, you put the top side in first. Just get it aligned. Make sure when it's latched in, if you try and move it around, like push it forward, it will stay in place. That's how you know it's in. Okay, you can also check and look that it's flush. Then you want to snap down the top corners first here this all right and then work your way down and then this bottom piece is you have to actually push it forward as you snap it down if I remember correctly but um first you will tighten down the screws okay so tighten down the middle screw just like that tighten down this bottom corner screw Most important clips are the top ones for this part and then the screws basically hold the rest in place make sure that all of this is flush again this bottom piece is a little tricky it's hard to see but there we go there we go clip it all in place all right then just take the USB put it back in the slot and then push it up just like that and then we take that bottom cover that the little clip snapped off on, put that in place. You want to put one side in first like that. It helps to put the side in first. And then you kind of flex it over and then put the other sides in like this, okay? Just like this. If it's not going, then kind of just work the middle. All right, there we go. So everything's good. It's held in place. See, it won't come out, so it's all good. All right, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Changing the hard drive, changing the RAM. Uh, I didn't show anything else because the customer just wanted to upgrade the hard drive to an SSD and I don't want to risk breaking other things. You saw there's like small risk taking this stuff out. So that's why sometimes people ask me why don't I show everything. There's added risk and nobody's paying me if I damage it. So 
that's why I don't show everything. And yeah, anyways, hopefully this video helped. If it did, please like and subscribe. Help others find this video. Help them avoid breaking their stuff. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.